almost letting rip from halfway there. Here's Darko with some quick feet, gets to the byline. Across goal, Chienchi! Rises highest and heads home. Back where it came from. Wood gets us restarted. Shaw rises high there. Did as Akuba used his body well and it falls his way again. Great ball forward for Yona. It's in the back of the net. Sunday, Yona gets there to Love Marquez. Great feed from Chianchi again. So lengthy, difficult to deal with. Spreads it wide for Chidia. Great ball, Michelle gets there. And Michelle heads at home. A wonderful team goal. In that bottom third of the table, every point you get is worth gold. And here is another opportunity. Is it three? Yes, it is. Oli Wigan makes a three and all but settles the points. Very quick on top once he gets going. Now he gets the pass he was looking for earlier. Yes, Skataric in the middle if he could find him. Skataric will have the chance to go one on one. A cool, calm, and collective finish from Nicholas Skataric. And after having one ruled out for offside just a minute ago. Punched away and set pieces of Skataric. Like he did on goal here. Skataric looking for his second. Blocked. And put back it on goal. And it might go down as an own goal. But nevertheless, Connor Quilligan is claiming it. He put it on target. Mustafa receives the flick off from Scott. The Wolves can keep moving forward. Takami shapes the cross towards the penalty spot. Akuka at the back post. Tries to create the shot and puts it off the post. The Wolves are back in this one. They cut the lead to just a goal. So Kumi Ofuku continues his stellar start to 2024. Might be easy to get the second. Save. And there's the equaliser. Ball inside for Maya. Well, it was the vision through the middle. Direct Dom Castenzo put it on a platter. Stallions with their nose in front at the moment. Corner in. Kay carries it down, looking for the second effort. And Daniel Bowman, referee, points to the halfway. Awards the goal to Marconi. Daniel Bowman will be Cronin from the corner. Up steps Cronin. Millgate there. Hilton, the save, and it's gone across the line. Morocco Pele. Don't know if it was bad for Hatch, but he's managed to chase it down, and now he's in a crossing oh! position. Another dangerous one fired in, and Aidan Milicevic is on the end of it. One winger to the other, and Sydney United have the early advantage. Way it up here, of course, most of those games, in fact, all of them have been played at Lambert Park, but they have nothing to fear facing up here. Over the last few years away from home, and that's how he's doubled their lead. Given all the time he wants it inside the box, and you don't need to afford that. It was across to cover, and then one back by De Oliveira. Sloppy giveaway from Askew. And tell me, all alone. Yeah. 22 goals already. He's not got through two matches, that's because he was on the line as well for uh, Harvey's 19-1 win over Hazelbrook in the week. But all right, they're not going to be quite as much fun this afternoon. That puts the cherry on top of a brilliant first half performance from Sydney United 58. There's a pass that sums up the afternoon. That's probably it for Harvey play with so much force who you expect to make a pass like that turning it over and now they're open at the back they're lining up Nakamura and tell me Nakamura will go himself and make it five for Sydney United well the different circumstances here this afternoon but that form will be nice for confidence no mistake there from Jack Stewart
5 nil down, not even half time, what is that, it's been. Fernandez, back, driven in, chance for goal, and it's in there now, that's the first goal of the game. Ball played across beautifully. He's setting up the back, goalkeeper Tristan Prendergast plays it long. And here's Malia, first intervention, can't get the ball, he can't. Now there's a breakaway here, there's a breakaway here, it's in Kudu, the substitute, what can he do? He can score! He can score, there was that pace we spoke about. He's gone straight through, it looked like his uh, teammate was being held back. He's got support directly beside him, Adam Berry beside him as well, but he decides to drive it in! He decides to drive it all the way in, up and over. Alia. Oh, it's an absolute beauty from Mitchell Malia. Goalkeeper absolutely stuck on the spot. Mitchell Malia. We've already seen Rockdale do a bit of damage at set pieces. Ask the question. They're going to put it into a dangerous area again. Sorge. Back there was Collins putting himself around. About. Sorge picks the top corner with an amazing strike. Braden Sorge, if you don't mind, a stunning strike to give Rockdale Illenden the lead. And it is going to be O'Donovan who steps up and he puts it past the Benny Schmears. O'Donovan's got four in four weeks and now six for the season and Olympic a level. You've got some Mola. Hunter Elliott was the hero last week in that late winner against Sydney United 58. Great chance this, what a goal it is! Chalakian with a screamer from outside the box. A terrific piece of technique. And we've just seen a couple of wonderful goals from Rockdale Illenden. Over Arpia Leichhardt. Chalakian looks to go to work now. Feet comfortable. And it's another screamer from the home side. The first time hit from Lockie Constable. They'll keep going. Abraham Marjok. To find a teammate here coming in at the back post is O'Donovan and it is a goal they've got one back is there time yet for the visitors 